Good morning. The vice presidential candidates are back out on the campaign trail today after a debate here in Virginia that was really more about the top of the ticket. Tim Kaine interrupting to put Mike Pence on defense, attacking frequently as Pence tried to play it cool and show he's a steady hand. While this debate may not move the needle for voters come November, it did reveal more about the strategy each side is hoping to show to win come election day. Finally, their turn to talk, and the VP nominees couldn't seem to stop. The Nixon standard. The people standard. at home cannot people understand have some... either one of you when you speak over each other. I'm just trying to keep up with the insult-driven campaign on the other side of the I'm, table. I, you know, I'm just saying facts about your running mate. Yeah. Well, and I know you can't defend Senator, him. Please, this I'm is happy to defend him. That was part of Mike Pence's mission, counterbalance Donald Trump's controversies, Mexican even as Tim Kaine pushed I'm Pence to directly Kane's defend his candidate, like for Trump's comments on women and Mexicans. Yes. Senator, you, you, you whipped out that Mexican thing again. Hashtag that Mexican thing again, trending on Twitter overnight. In all six cases, he's refused to defend. Well, let's, his running let's, no, no, don't put words in my mouth. All right. But, it, no, but he, not, yet, if he's going to do yet, that, you got to give And yet, he is asking everybody to vote for somebody that he cannot defend. On style, Kane coming under fire for sounding too rehearsed and too pushy. Ronald Reagan said something really interesting about nuclear proliferation back in the 1980s. He said the problem with nuclear proliferation is that some fool or maniac could trigger a catastrophic event. And I think that's who Governor Pence's running mate is, exactly who oh, President on. Reagan warned us about. Senator, Senator, that was even beneath you and Hillary Clinton, and that, that's pretty low. On substance, a split on Russia. Pence, unlike Trump, suggesting strikes against the Russian-backed Syrian regime. And also, unlike Trump, slamming President Vladimir Putin. The small and bullying leader of Russia. Less than a month I ago. Think, uh, I think it's inarguable. Uh, that Vladimir Putin has been a stronger leader in his country than Barack Obama has been in this country. Donald Trump and Mike Pence have said he's a great leader. And Donald Trump has... No, biz we have has Pence pitting Hillary Clinton's email and the Clinton Foundation controversies and answering questions about his running mate's nearly billion-dollar loss in 1995, revealed in tax documents leaked to the New York Times. But he used the tax code just the way it's supposed to be used, and he did it brilliantly. This morning, a new interview with Trump's former accountant who prepared those returns. Oh, he knew that we would produce the lowest possible tax for him within the law, and he never went into the details. Donald Trump's taxes likely to remain in the spotlight. But as for the debate here at Longwood University, Hillary Clinton watched it from her home in New York. Donald Trump from the campaign trail out west, live tweeting and, no surprise, declaring Mike Pence the winner. But it's the Republican National Committee that apparently got ahead of itself, posting its post-debate spin hours before the debate even happened. You can see it on the screen, praising Mike Pence for certain talking points, like in their words, hitting Hillary Clinton's scandals. Matt, Savannah. All right, Hallie, thank you very much. Uh, hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.